And if anyone's familiar with the missives of Archbishop Vigano, he says that the, uh, you know, the seeds of erosion of the church were sown at, with the reforms of Vatican II, and I agree with him. He suggests even that we scrap the whole thing and go back and do it the way it was before. And it was a pastoral council, after all. I mean, there was nothing wrong. It didn't need to be fixed. They were doing pretty well. I remember when I directed The Passion, I went to the USCCB uh, to get support for the film. Those men couldn't get away from me fast enough. And all but a few of them turned their back on me. And it was, it was pretty telling about who they were. A pretty insipid bunch. It doesn't look like anything's changed. These I remember back in the 70s, uh, old priests, good priests, who were uh, bullied and persecuted by their bishops. There was a rash of it back then also, and it was because they, you know, they wanted to maintain what it was that they were ordained to do. They didn't want to go along with the, the new liturgy and the reforms of Vatican II, and uh, so that they were uh, really heavily leaned on. It was never abrogated, the old mass, never, and it still hasn't been. You can't. It's protected by quo primum. Um, but they were bullied and, and badgered. And, and how are we supposed to know the good guys from the bad guys? Well, we were given a standard by which to judge them. You know, by their fruits, you'll know them. Anybody seen any good fruit lately? Yeah. And look, I'm a pretty sinful guy. I mean, I'm, I'm as venal as the next guy. But I know the difference between a shepherd and a hireling. And I think that the vast majority of these bishops are just a bunch of hirelings. And my question is, you know, who's hiring them? I mean, I think you need to look at the whole institution. And, uh, you know, I'll quote uh, Archbishop Vigano again. He believes that there was a parallel counterfeit church set up to eclipse the real one. He's suggesting usurpation or an inside job. It seems that way. Of course, we know the gates of hell will not prevail against it. The victory is God's, not ours. And uh, it will flourish if we keep it in our hearts. It can flourish in our hearts and keep the faith. And that's what's going to happen. That's what I encourage you to do.